Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Jonathan Wilkerson, and as you can see, I'm in another woodsy area, looking for a little something to harvest medicinally or in a culinary sense. When I came upon a tree that I have harvested, this late fall polypore called resinous polypore. Now, I know it's looking a little rough right now because it has turned a little dark um, brown, maybe even sort of blackish, um, but that's only because it's already been harvested. And when you harvest it, you cut the edges off because the edges are very tender. And I wanna show you that this tree had a bunch of it on there. And I can see that it's still trying to bubble out and come out. Now its habitat is decaying wood. So you're gonna find it on stumps and fallen trees. And let me tell you, this is one of the meatiest fungi that you can harvest. And it's, it's delicious. I've heard this fungi called the steak of the woods, believe it or not, yes. So we've already sliced the edges off of this booger here. Now, a lot of times this fungi is gonna get a dark brown in the center and you're gonna have to only harvest the edges, the outer edges of it because that's gonna be the tender part of it. But let me tell you this, when you find them and they are light beige like this, you can harvest a little bit more than the edges. There is a lot of this fungi that is harvestable and it's great. I'll, I saute it in butter and it's got a really good texture and taste to it. But don't take my word for it. When out in the woods, when you encounter this fungi, by all means, properly identify it so that you can harvest some and try it for yourself. This is the resinous polypore, also scientifically known as the, uh-oh, I tear this word up, Ischoderma resinosum. I think I got close to it. <laughs> this mushroom <clears throat> also uh, excretes a little resinous fluid that is sort of, I don't know, amber-like. But that's, to me, one of the identifying features of this particular fungi. So you know that you know that you know that you have the resinous polypore. And when it's like this, this is when I choose to harvest it <laughs> because it's much bigger, it's much more tender, and this is perfect. This is exactly how you want it. So, once again, its habitat is decaying wood. You're gonna find it on stumps and, as you can see, a fallen tree. So, I hope I've helped you identify this fungi a bit, but don't take my word for it. Do not use this video as your only means of identification. Always properly identify all fungi before consumption. I hope this video helps. I hope you liked it. And if you liked it, please hit the subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated so I can keep on doing the work that I'm doing. Until next time, happy foraging. Goodbye.